You're listening to a Skewed Orbit original podcast. Time, weather, and... Always the past. Hi, friends. Welcome to June. This this month offers us beautiful momentum and also a respite that I feel like we've been working towards. I'm going to jump right in because there's so much to talk about, okay? So I have been hearing over and over again two words, and this is with time. I feel like so often as humans, one of the things that we want to manufacture, manipulate, we want more of, we want less of, we want it to go faster, we want it to slow down is time. And I would also argue that one of the things that is holding us back from feeling the utmost abundance and aliveness is the power of the present. And because we keep wanting to manipulate time, slow it down, speed it up, move beyond it, we're not anchoring into time as it exists. We're not slowing down to move with time. That when we trust, truly trust and anchor, I am safe to move with time as it moves. The amount of like, I'm going to argue, this is a Rachel Force guarantee. I'm going to say that your just kind of overall well-being is going to shoot up by, I'm going to go 40%. And I'm, and I'm happy to stick by that number. Because what we do is we don't acknowledge our small progress. We don't acknowledge the amount of things that we are moving through on a daily basis because we are still wanting this one sole target. And whether that's a partner, that's being out of debt, that's starting this business, that's being seen, that's like all of these things where it's like, if only this thing were together, then everything else would fall in place. And how many times do we have to fo- like follow that fool's errand? Rather than knowing that those things will come into fruition because we're moving with time. Because I feel like so many of us spiritual teachers and those of us that are, you're in this audience, you're listening, this is the work that you're doing. So much of this year has been for all of us checking in of like, okay, like we're almost there. These things we're calling in are almost here. And it's almost like we've all been doing this work all year long with the promise that these things are going to happen. Now, obviously I'm not, okay, I'm not like Buddha. I'm not going to sit here. Okay. And, and just, you know, speak as though those things are not things that I fight on the regular, but that's why this message feels so important to get out there and share, which is like, it's not even surrendering to time. It's simply like, can you get to a place where you can move with it? Be a part of it because you're diluting your manifestations, you're diluting the things, right? There's that thing everybody loves to share of like, I'm, I'm finally living the dreams I had from six years ago or whatever. Right. But there's truth to that, that we dilute what it is that we have now because we're already like, great, but now I want the thing ahead of me. But, and I know that that's a lesson that we hear a lot, but I feel like this is even like, if you can go with me, it's a little bit even like elevated beyond that. Because it's not saying surrender to the now, it's going, you're missing the power that exists now. You're missing the abundance, the opportunity, the expansion that exists now because you're ready for that hashtag quantum leap. You're ready for all of those things to come in, not acknowledging that all of those things only come into existence because you've chosen to show up and do the work. So I want to offer us a reframe 
indefinitely, but let's just try for summer. Let's just start there. How can you move with time from now until September? So we're going to go June, July, and August. Rather than wanting to be so far ahead, rather than like, okay, I already want all of these things or, or like, what would it feel like to just move with it? Because the image I also keep getting is it feels like this whole year we've been on these rapids and at different times the rapids have slowed down, but they've slowed down where it feels eerie. Like, you know, something's coming next. And then we've been on this really fast rapid since about March. And I feel like this clearing just opened up and what it's offering you this sense of like, slow. Cause I feel like a lot of us are still like, I'll speak for me, right? Like our building is under contract, like that we're hiring people. Like there is a lot of movement, but it feels well paced. If that makes sense. Like there's not a rush. There's not this like, go, go, go. It's all got to get done. So there's really this nice pace that's being set out before you. And so how can you take advantage of that? Because June is offering us that. That's the beautiful thing about summer, which is everyone is participating. And again, summer is happening here in the States. I know maybe where you're listening from, you may be in a different season. Um, but I feel like energetically, it's it's all the same, right? Of like, we're offered this. It's like sunny days, long days. Like we're kind of taking vacations. We're moseying along. And so there's this window. Everybody's loves the portal. Okay. Relax. There's this window and opportunity to set your pace. I've talked about this a lot. I always go back to that of like, as things change, like set your pace. What is it now? But it's more than that. This is really deep integration because we know over the last few months, we have been asked to let go of what doesn't serve us anymore. We're letting go of all of that. Like anything that came before is done. 999, it's done. And I know there's a few of you right now that that's the number that you've been seeing a lot. And as you hear this, you're like, no fucking way. Yes way. Okay. Because it's real. All right. That collective energy is real. So it's done. And some of that may be so fucking long overdue of things we have to let go of. You are not that person anymore. That is not the reality for you anymore. That's again with time. When you acknowledge the power, the insight, and the awareness that the now offers you, you're a, you can put all of that in a different place. You can set that in stone in a different place. You can allow that to be what it needs to be. Because you can look at it and go, ah, great. That used to be, but it's not now. And that's what this time is giving you. Cause I know a lot of you have really been challenged. I recently learned, um, from a dear friend, uh, Gabrielle, who also just launched her own podcast, shout out to Gabrielle. And she was teaching me about the terror barrier. I was explaining to her a lot of the stuff that's been happening in my nervous system. As you guys know, I've let go of caffeine, not to brag. This is day, I think day 13 of no caffeine. You guys know, I've been struggling with these panic attacks and letting a lot go. And I, you know, you start to feel crazy and maybe I'm doing something wrong or I'm bad. Why is this happening? And I was like, oh, I asked for this. I asked for all of these old fears and everything that is deep in the core of my DNA, deep in the fascia of my, my muscles ingrained in my nervous system. I have asked and been doing the work to release that. And that's what this is. So when that, that comes up again, I've had to just go, I allow it to leave. I allow it to leave. And that's scary when you feel like you're having a panic attack, when it's overwhelming. And rather, again, with time, move with it. How can you move with it? You don't have to go along for every single ride, right? Oh, well, they said this about me and they said, then let them say that. You don't have to go on every ride that is offered to you. 
And that's what this month is about. It's allowing us to learn that we're going at a slow enough pace that we're truly integrating. May was all about that, right? In the Misfit Light, if you missed it, go back and uh, and watch all of those. Also, we've been building out my sub stack. Uh-oh, new things to come. Uh, she's making the move. Lots of stuff is going to be happening over there. But uh, you can go over there and you can watch all the videos from May. Uh, they're also on my YouTube and Instagram And we did five weeks of harnessing the new you, of really being able to start to do that. And so now, June, this is fresh step. This is new. You can feel that energy. We all know there was all the um, Jupiter and Gemini. And there's, I mean, all of these just astrological events that have been happening, the collective energy, uh, again, even seasonally, where it's like, boom, we're in summer. And you feel that shift. So allow yourself to move with time to be in this and know that you are who you say you are and, and allowing that to be the mantra. I am who I say I am. And I accept that who I am, other people may not be able to see that. It may be more convenient for other people to see me and whatever works best for their narrative. I do not give my energy to that. And it's simply, I am who I say I am. And I move as I'm ready to move, right? Allow this energy to be here for the month. I'm not saying don't make moves or anything like that, but if you have the space to allow this month, like I want you to get comfortable with that power and like, what does soft power feel like? That's what June is because oftentimes we've been talking a lot about this too. I know there's a lot of people in this community that are ready to be seen. A lot of people working towards fame as they define it. And, and I've been saying that a lot to people and sharing those mantras, which I'll make that for a different video, but those mantras of like, I am safe to be seen by millions of people. And it's the same thing that like you get to define what being seen means for you. That doesn't mean that everybody else is going to see it that way, but you get to define what that ride is going to be like and what that adventure and choosing that in that, in this lifetime is going to be. And the same is true for that soft power, being powerful, stepping into your power. Doesn't mean that like, you know, you show up at Christmas and you're like, fuck you, fuck you. Like you don't fucking know. Like, that's not what I'm saying. It's not like never speaking again to somebody who doesn't totally understand you, but soft power is knowing it's time for me to leave the room. It's time to shift this thing. It's time to let go of this. It's time to push this client out of the nest or whatever that is. And so right now you're being offered this sense of integration. Move with time. The past is done. 999. We've set it in stone. I'm posting a video uh, here coming up this next week with a card read of that. So go and check that out. Um, All about, it's been cast in stone. It's done. And what's great is a stone is something that's big enough. You can hold it in your hand. So if at any time it's like, oh, I'm not sure. Oh, I want to. And you have that sense of self-sabotage or like this, this growing and your nervous system is wanting to do that. It's wanting to pull you back in and keep you small. You don't have to fear it anymore. Everything that used to hold you captive now fits in the palm of your hand, period. Right. And you can set it down. It's just a stone. And so integrating this and with time and this sense of soft power, because in fact, we have all of these ideas of what partnership means, of what uh, boss babe means, of what like I'm a spiritual teacher and I'm going to call in all these clients and people are going to pay me all this money. And you've got like and it gets overwhelming when we are, I mean, I feel this overwhelmed with social media of like, everybody is telling you where it's like, well, I figured out how to go from $25,000 to a million dollars in six months. And I can teach you how, and like, oh, I used to have blocks around love and now I've got this thing or like, oh, and can you disattach from everyone else's stories? It's not saying that like, that's not true for them or that we can't maybe acknowledge and go to them. If those are things that you're wanting to work through. But we have to disattach a little bit from everybody else's narrative of everybody else's belief in order to really get in tune with what is ours. And that's what I want you just to see for this 
month of like, what would it be like? Imagine yourself. It's funny because I just realized I'm going um, tubing down a river next Sunday. <laughs> um, so I love that I get to do that in this month and actually integrate it physically. But imagine that. What would that be like? Just in that nice, soft pace, soft power, moving with it knowing that all those manifestations are coming through, knowing you've made this, you know, quantum leap, how you define it, knowing that you're up loving, knowing that you are responding differently. And that's where the power is. So everything else coming into fruition, everybody else knowing what it's going to be great. But until you get to a place of like true ownership for yourself, the rest is just theater. Okay. So do not miss out on the work and the opportunity that June has. It's very soft. It's very subtle. It's still. And like fucking embrace that. Oh my God. Like all we've been feeling is like, you know, like we've felt like we've been like on a rocket ship to the moon for the last couple of months. So enjoy this month. I think it's a really beautiful energy. I think it's really soft. I think it's very subtle. It's very supportive. It's what we've been wanting. Um, so please enjoy that energy. And I am so excited for everything you're doing as always, please DM me. I'm a real person. Share with me what you're doing. Tell me what's going on. Tell me the things that you're launching, what you're working on, what's working for you, what's not working for you, what you're revisiting. I want to hear all of these things. Okay. Uh, please read through the newsletter. Please support me. I would be so grateful for your support, for your energy. Every single message that I receive from you is so incredibly powerful for me um, and reminds me that this work is working. So please, uh, Tired Mom has been out for a month. Please go and watch it. If you've watched it, please share it with somebody. We're slowly moving all of this work over to Substack. We're going to be offering you uh, more and more. Uh, so there's going to be more coming out of the Rachel LaFour show. Um, at the, the Misfit Light has now come in for a landing. We're going to go dark for summer. And then we're bringing it back with so much in the fall. I am so excited for everybody to be a part of that. Again, uh, a lot of it will be going out for free on socials. There's going to be a lot that it's going to be a paid community. It's $9.99 a month. So again, if you're like, what? It's Listen, it's as close to free as I can possibly make it. Um, so we're going to have that. We're going to have all these additional new features for the Rachel LaForce show that will also be, all of the free will also be on Substack and all my socials as normal. So even if you want to engage with it over there, if you're taking a little bit of a social media hiatus, you'll still be able to enjoy it over there. Uh, and there will also be some that's behind this community paywall. Again, it's $9.99. It's as affordable as I can possibly make it. And, uh, and just as you deserve to be paid for all of your wonderful gifts, we've, it's time that we got to put some of it behind a paywall, but I'm really excited because there's so much community that we're going to be building in this space too, in a way that there's way more Q and a us actually talking together. So I think even that alone is so worth it. Uh, at least I feel like that, that I'm so excited. Those of you that are really taking this stuff in every week, doing this work, bringing it into your own communities and audiences that we're actually going to be able to round table and really dive in. So I'm so, so excited for that. But again, uh, we're going to kind of slow move this, but I do have a Substack page that's up. So we'll link that if you want to go ahead and subscribe. Um, so you can get in on the ground floor. Uh, and, uh, my better half, Caroline and I, we're going to be working on that, uh, over the next couple months and slowly bringing that out to you. So there is so much that's building. We've got that coming. The studio is coming into fruition. There's so much that's going on. And this week, somehow maybe you find yourself in the greater Boston area and you're like, gosh, would I love to meet Rachel LaForce. Guess what? You can this week, June 6th. Uh, I am going to be, if you're listening to this in, uh, oh, Today is June 6th, isn't it? You would be listening to it. So if somehow you've received this this morning and you're like, I got to go, guess what? You can still get out and you can come and see me. Uh, if you, what I want to tell you in the event that you're like, I don't live in Boston. I can't make that happen. We are going to be doing more lives next year. So more opportunity for you to come out. And then also this live episode is going to be coming out in the not so distant future. So I'm so excited for everything that is going to be happening, uh, both digitally today and, uh, in person today. So there's a lot going on. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, and I'm excited to see how you move with June. All right. 
Tune out, tune in, love you, mean it. Time, weather, and-